Okay, so I found a really nice spot that I'm just chilling at at Rockwood Cemetery and I'm going to attempt my very first tag video. So this one's 50 things about me, hopefully. I won't bore you too much. Okay, I'm going to use my phone because there's no way I can remember 50 things about myself. Um, so I've got them written down for you guys here. Okay, the first one is I am allergic to cats. They just, oh, I can't stand them. It's a terrible thing because I think they're beautiful creatures, but they just, they make my nose run and my eyes itch and I can't be around them at all. If you don't know this about me already, I create vampire art, obviously very into vampires, and I frequently get asked by my fans if I am a mortal. I am currently obsessed with Thomas Saber and Pandora charms, like, you do not understand the packages that come every day. Like, the postman knows me by name. There's like six or seven little packages every day of charms. I'm like, oh my god, look at this. So shiny. Um, yeah, I don't tell Vaughn how much they are. <laughs> you shouldn't either. I own Land on the Moon. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty epic, actually. You know, probably won't be able to move there in my lifetime, but still pretty awesome. When I was 17, I had a custom seven string guitar made by a company in New Zealand. I can't actually remember the name of the guy, but it's a very nice guitar. Okay, the next one is I secretly, I don't know if it's a secret, but <laughs> I secretly enjoy coding my own websites and video editing. I'm like a real geek with that shit. Um, I do my own websites if you don't know that already. And I really love coding and if I come like, if I'm fronted with a problem, I just will sit there until like I can figure it out and I, I really love that shit. I was 18 when I got my first tattoo, which was, where is it? This one here, it's a present, it's a rose, it resides on my right breast. And it was a present from my husband, Vaughn. My first job was working at the cheesecake shop when I was 14, which technically is illegal because in Australia, you have to be 14 and nine months um, but yeah, it was good because, you know, I, I love whipped cream and I love chocolate. So, you know, profits probably went down for that two years that I was working there for that franchise. But as a first job, it was pretty cool. I am classically trained on the piano. I don't really play much these days, but, um, when we're writing for As Angels Bleed, um, it's the second go-to choice. Like, obviously there's only really piano and guitar that you can song write on, but, um, I find myself more writing ballads on piano so if I feel like I want to write a moody song um, say I drowned that one came about on piano oh I like how gothic that is there's a spider <laughs> hanging from my mobile phone hello Lisa if you're watching this would totally freak you out right now she's my best friend she hates spiders but she thinks she's really gothic hope it's not poisonous Okay, where were we? Anyone that's close to me like knows this and has <laughs> had the un unfortunate experience of tasting my cooking, but I burn nearly everything I cook. Um, so much so that I'm actually thinking of releasing a gothic cookbook because I have enough material to actually, you know, take that to print <laughs> and uh, sell that. I think it would be quite cool, you know, burnt potatoes, burnt tacos, uh, burnt fucking sandwiches. How do you burn, I don't know, how do you burn a sandwich? I have done it. Message me and I'll tell you how to do it. I just would rather do anything else. I think I have a really short attention span and I get distracted like super easily. Um, more so now with children. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, you just put something on and then two of them scream and you run off and like you come back and it's burnt. I have two gorgeous little boys, one Steel, he's almost two years old, and the second one is named London. He's almost three months old, so yeah, three months ago I was having a baby. Crazy! Not really that crazy, is it? I mean, it happens every fucking day. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I am the singer of goth metal band As Angels Bleed. Shame on you if you don't know my band, please go and check us out. I absolutely detest kiwi fruit. It makes my tongue fuzzy, like I must be allergic to it. Uh, apparently one of my best friends said this is quite normal, but every time I eat it personally, I'm just like, oh my god, it's happening again! And I really freak out, and Vaughn, my husband, is always trying to get me to eat it. Which just really pisses me off, because it's like, my taste buds don't change. I'm having some chemical reaction to this fruit, and he insists on giving it to me again and again and again. 
He just laughs. He's like, here, have some pavlova. I'm like, does it have kiwi fruit on it? He's like, yeah. I'm like, why the fuck would I want to eat it? I'm allergic to it. <sighs> Wicked sense of humor, that man. I hate coffee. I try to drink it. I really do. But last time I tried to drink it, I needed like seven sugars. And that is... That's, like, it's not healthy. Seven sugars? Mm -mm. It's going to give me tooth decay and it's just not good for my body. So I'll stick to tea. I get really excited when I find a bargain, like like jumping up and down, squealing, kind of like half price, you know, bargain bin. Oh my god, it's pretty fun to watch. I wear reading glasses for most computer work and iPhoning. I'm always on this thing all day and I've got the brightness turned down like significantly almost that I can't see it, I'm squinting. But um, if it's any brighter, you know, it just gives me headaches. So I probably should be wearing them now. Do I look smarter now? Blue steel, blue steel, blue steel. For medical reasons, my two beautiful sons were born via cesarean. The first one, steel, was um, eh, emergency. I tried to have a, a natural birth, but you know, things arose, complications came about. Um, so yeah, that was a, a very rushed cesarean. And the second one was a planned. Um, I actually have a lot to say on that topic, so I'm thinking about filming a video um, to just you know voice my experience and I think it might actually be very helpful for other women out there that are about to have a cesarean um, and interested in you know knowing what the healing process is like versus a, a planned and emergency cesarean. My husband Vaughn was my guitar teacher how about that so technically my mother introduced me to my husband. I am absolutely terrible with surprises uh, like not only do I need to know what they are? I will obsess until usually Vaughn tells me what the surprise is and then he just like, you know, gives in and tells me and then I'm like, ah, oh, I know what it is now. So then he has to go out and buy me something else because I'm like, well, now I know what it is. And he's like, but you made me tell you. I'm like, yeah, but you didn't have to tell me. It's part of the game. You should know that by now, right? Like 15 years of knowing someone. <laughs> yeah, the other side of it is I'm just, I sometimes usually guess um, what the presents are. Like, for example, once uh, last Christmas, he said, I got you three things, babe. I'm like, awesome. What are they? He's like, the first one's illuminating. And I'm like, makeup mirror. And it actually was. And then the next one was, he said, this is something to help you out while you're pregnant. I'm like, foot massager. Got to get a sore back, all that shit. Swelling. And it was. I can't remember what the third was, but I guess that too. So he doesn't tell me anything anymore because then I don't have any surprises. Last year, I fainted. I don't exactly know why I, was, I just maybe wasn't eating or looking after myself as, as much as I should have been and I fainted and hit the floor on the way down and almost broke my nose and ended up with this really cool um, little scar there for a while. I absolutely adore watching videos of goats on YouTube. You know the ones where bah! that's a crow. Sorry, crows and goats do sound similar. There's some crows around here. But yeah, I love them. I will piss myself at like 3 a.m. I'll be watching videos of goats. I'll be like, Vaughn, you have to watch this. This is the funniest thing. And he'll be like, it's 3 a.m. I don't fucking want to watch a video on goats right now. But it's really funny. <laughs> this is pretty random, but I've had dinner with Annette, this former, I should say former singer of Nightwish. And we also went shopping. It was wasn't that random like obviously I was um, hanging out with them and I'm good friends with the manager um, of the band Ewo and I was backstage doing photos and stuff and we just ended up yeah really hanging out having a good time we had dinner together um, and then went shopping at Gallery Serpentine in Newtown I've had the pleasure of meeting Danny Filth um, who personally signed one of my artworks Empathy check it out if you don't know which one that is um, and I can't remember if just he signed it or if it, I think it might have been the whole band Cradle of Filth and it was given away on their website to a very lucky fan I kind of didn't want to give it away though because how awesome would that have been to keep I did by the way I totally sent it to the person who won <laughs> I've hung out with Billy Velo from him on at least three occasions um, when they've been to Sydney Australia one time was uh, I won't tell you which hotel in case they frequent that one regularly but um, yeah, really nice guy, very friendly, a little shorter than I was expecting in person. But I'm a massive fan of them, especially uh, Razorblade Romance Days. That album is just epically influ influential for um, me personally as a singer and also musically for my band. I adore Peter, I'm going to get really close to say this, I adore Typo Negative. So much so that I named my first child Steel. 
Peter Steele, obviously, if you're not making that connection there. Love, 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 love them, obviously. So upset on the day that we found out that he passed um, a musical talent lost to the world way too soon. At least once, please don't tell anyone this, but at least once annually, I get the urge to buy something really bright, clothing-wise. Like, last time it was... <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. It was a hot pink tank shirt with a pig on it. Yeah, a cartoon pig. I never wore it. I thought, hey, it would be cute for like bedtime or something like that. But then I put it on, I'm like, this is really pink. Contrary to popular goth etiquette, I do not like The Cure. That's all I'm going to say on that. I don't like it, okay? I don't. Don't, don't ask me about that again. I only recently got my driver's license. <laughs> Uh, I mean, like, I got my L's like every other girl in Australia would when they're 16. Um, but, you know, I just, I enjoyed being escorted everywhere. My mother at the time would drive me everywhere. Love you, mum. And then when I started dating Vaughn, he drove me everywhere. So there was really no need to do it, you know. But I really enjoy driving now. So much fun! But speed limits suck. But, you know, road safety obviously is important. I'm not endorsing speeding. My first concert was The Offspring, so I was pretty grungy when I was growing up. Um, they were awesome. Like The first song that I really learned and got into on guitar was um, The Kids Aren't Alright by Offspring, and I still play that one to this day. It's, um, it's pretty tricky, actually. I play and teach the violin. Before I started my artwork photography, I was heavily, heavily, heavily into band photography. Um, so I started with a little Canon, or oh, what would it have been? like 300D or something, maybe, yeah, 300, I think they're up to, like, my new ones are 1600D, so that makes sense, um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, I got, um, backstage a lot of concerts, um, like, Soundwave Australia, I was able to shoot, um, and hang out with Christina Scabia from Lacuna Coil, um, Des from the uh, Devil Driver, there we go, um, Lamb of God, huge fan of them, um, who else have I shot? I've shot him live several times, uh, Nightwish, Opeth, and a bunch of other bands I just cannot remember right now because my memory is shit. Okay, next one. My handwriting changes depending on my mood. I am a massive sci-fi fan, so Battlestar Galactica, I've watched that entire season plus the, you know, special editions like three or four times easily. Um, and yeah, I love space, love the new Gravity movie. Oh, I could just go on and on about all the movies I like, but I'm really into space. I find the, the whole concept of space travel um, very, very endearing. Oh, oh, this is a good one. I absolutely love CGI effects in movies. So I'm talking 2012. I've watched that movie partly because, you know, my short term memory is shit. Um, and I can't remember that I've watched it so many times, but I love the effects um, in that movie where, um, what's the guy's, John Cusack is driving the limousine and he's come to rescue his family and you know, the whole tectonic plate is shifting and the world's falling apart. That is phenomenal. Um, love volcano, volcanoes, love tidal waves, um, big fan of Twister back in the 90s. I still frequent that movie and think that it's really well done um, considering, you know, graphics effects weren't what they are now. When I was 16, I tried to form a girl band, but I couldn't find anyone that was doing the kind of music that I was doing at the time. Um, and I was playing guitar and writing a lot of songs. I didn't really want to sing at that point just because I didn't have the confidence. Um, and it was Vaughn who kind of pushed me into um, becoming a singer, really, because he suggested um, when I couldn't find anyone, you know, he's like, why don't you sing them yourself? And I'm like, oh, I suck. My voice is terrible. Um, but yeah, you know, with a lot of work, it, <laughs> it turns into something that's half decent. Not long after I tried to form the girl band, funnily enough, um, I was contacted by um, a company. I can't remember their name. It's totally irrelevant. But anyway, they um, there's this Australian girl band that had, you know, a fleeting moment of success back when I was 16. Um, so early 2000s, um, called Lash, and they were looking for a new singer. And yeah, I was almost the singer of that band, so if you're interested, have a look at, um, what was the song called? Take Me Away and Beauty Queen. But there's, <laughs> there's one called Mr. Han, if you can find it, that was on their EP, which is just an absolutely atrocious, appalling song that I'm so grateful I'm not associated with. Um, yeah, if, yeah, I'm not even gonna 
Ugh. Just have a listen to it and you'll agree with me. It's, it's a terrible song. I've co-written a song with the late and great Kim Foley. The song was entitled Nightmare Sisters. If you don't know who Kim Foley is, he's co-written songs with like Kiss, Paul Stanley, one of like my idols. I love him. Um, and was responsible for discovering girl band The Runaways. Now this is not bullshit, but I am completely sensitive to light. I get migraines. That's why I'm always wearing my sunnies. So if I, you know, you can't really see my makeup when I wear my sunglasses. But, um, yeah, I'm looking into the sun now. Oh, the sun. Oh, hate the sun. But yeah, I get severe migraines. Um, usually once a month. Let's not talk about that. Um, but just like sometimes it has nothing to do with that and they're, they're really um, debilitating like I'm talking about lying in bed for two days and anyone that's had a migraine knows how terrible they are they just wipe you out and make you want to sleep and, and stay in a dark room this is a weird one I like orange juice but I despise eating oranges I think it's the pulp or something like that when I drink juice as well I need like I love squeezing fresh orange juice but I will always um, What's it? Drain? What's it? I can't find that word. You know, take the pulp out. So <laughs> it's just the juice without the pulp because oh, can't stand pulp. Ha, this is a funny one. I forget what movies I've watched. And um, we have this like safe list of um, G rated, no sex, no swearing, no violence, no cool nothing uh, movies on our hard drive that we watch with Bond's mother when she comes over because uh, my memory is so shit um, every time she comes over I suggest that we watch the movie Sahara with Matthew McConaughey uh, love him he's a great actor and yeah anyway so it must have been like the 16th billionth time that we've watched that and she's like why are we watching this again she's German that's my attempt at a really bad German action god bless her she's like why are we watching we always watch the same movie and I'm like really really Cause, like I thought this was the first time we've seen it fuck yeah, it still surprises me. Great movie. Oh, this is embarrassing. But when I was 16, coming out of my kind of grungy stage, I <laughs> made my own blonde dreadlocks. So I bought like hair extensions, dreaded them myself, which took forever. But they look really awesome. Um, and stuck them in with super glue. <laughs> Every day, my mum would come home from work and I'd be like, Mum, she's like, what? I need more super glue. Uh, she's like, I just bought you five packets. I'm like, I know, but I need more. There's like a back section here that's missing, you know, three quarters of my head would be dreaded. Um, yeah, I don't know if that was healthy. Don't do that. If you're thinking about getting dreadlocks in, I'm sure there's a better way to do that. This is a really sweet one. At my wedding, I danced to the Aerosmith song, which is one of my favorites of them. I don't want to miss a thing, and we both cried. <laughs> I'm going to put the photo up. You're going to see it's really sweet. It's like one of those precious father and daughter moments. I would cherish it forever. I was married in a white dress. <laughs> no, I'm only fucking with you. It was totally black. It was epic. It was so huge. It was like a gothic fairy tale. We had the horse and carriage. We had the black cake. We had the black dress. I had the black veil. Black, 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 black. Um, <laughs> my nan actually at our wedding, she was, I love my nan. How great are nans? Anyway, she's like, I've got to take my sonnies off to do, to do this. Avelina, are you depressed? What's with all the black, darling? I don't understand it. Ah, oh, she's funny. I think she left early because she really <laughs> didn't like the wedding. I really, I didn't get a photo at my wedding with my grandmother. Vaughn made me laugh once so hard <laughs> that I was currently drinking lemonade. That lemonade came out of my eyes. Like, you know how hard you have to laugh for that to happen? <laughs> I was 17 when I had my librette pierced. And it literally scared the shit out of me because I was underage in Australia. I don't know if it's the same where you are, but you have to be um, 18 to get a piercing. So my mum, who's cool, came along with me and I was expecting it to be like a gun, like the normal earrings. And he's like, okay, we're going to do it now. And he's like pulling my lip and I'm expecting the gun. And then he shoves this needle through it. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, but it was like all over, you know, in literally a few seconds, but it really like got the blood pumping. I absolutely love, let's see if that will focus, big rings. Look at that. Isn't that just divine? 
very, 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 very nice. Go big or go home. So I've just come home from the cemetery and remembered that I forgot some really cool points. The first being that Alice Cooper and his mother own my canvases. How cool is that? How that came about is I'm actually friends with Kerry Kelly, the guitarist of Alice Cooper. Um, when Alice Cooper was last in Sydney, I shot their show and just got chatting with Kerry afterwards and he really liked one of my shots and um, apparently Alice did as well. So it just got grander and grander at first. I was just going to sell, um, send Kelly the canvas and then he's like, oh, my mom really loves this shot. I'm like, okay. And he's like, it'd be really nice if, um, you know, Alice could have one too. I'm like, sure. And then he's like, Alice Cooper's mom actually wants one as well. I'm like, fucking great. So I sent them like 10 canvases and yeah, somewhere in Arizona, Alice has, and his mother, my canvases in his house. I am really shit at maths, like severely disabled at adding. Like it's retarded, I'm so shit, it's ridiculous. I talk through movies constantly, like movies I haven't even seen yet. So I'll go and watch a movie with Vaughn, who also hasn't seen this movie, and I'll be like, oh, that's that guy from that show, you know the one? He had black hair, but now he's got blonde hair. Do you know the one? You know what I'm talking about? And he'll be like, yeah, I do actually. <laughs> And then I'll be like, oh, what's happening here? Is, is, is that going to happen? Do, do you reckon? Oh, that's going to happen, isn't it? And he's like, Evelina, I don't know. I've just started watching this movie as well. I know as much as you do. And I think that concludes the 50 things about me video tag. So I've thoroughly enjoyed filming this. Again, it is my first ever tag video. So if you've enjoyed it, please remember to tag, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what other tag videos you'd like to see me do. I'd love to do them for you. And I will see you soon.